I want to thank you for joining me in Frugal Willie Mae's kitchen today. I want to thank each and every subscriber and everybody who has supported my channel. I have received a notice that I have gotten 400 subscribers. I'm so excited to get that milestone. I thank you very much and love each and every one of you. Now, to do the video that we're going to do today, I'm excited to show you how to make a really old recipe. It is a comfort food for many people. It is an easy meal. It's a cheap meal. And may even lose weight whenever you eat this. Chop up one half a head of cabbage. I had three beef bouillon cubes down in the pot and I've got probably four cups of water. I'm going to add the ingredients. I'm going to start off with the celery. I'm going to add these are I bought these in a package and they were like sticks. They were not a huge uh, celery stalk. But I'm not a celery fan, but I know that it's, it's a healthy uh, to go put this in this soup. I've got seven carrots, which I absolutely love carrots. <laughs> I have seven cloves of, carb of garlic, and I have a half of a sweet onion, and I'm going to add those in. I've got um, about a cup of mixed peppers, bell peppers. may not quite be a cup. This recipe, by the way, is very forgiving. <laughs> now... I have uh, some non-GMO diced tomatoes, and I'm going to pour those in there. Mix those in. Then I have four spices. I have Italian seasoning, oregano, garlic powder, and onion powder. And I put right at a teaspoon of each and every one of them. But now the spices are optional. You can put in what you want to put in to make this. This, Like I say, this recipe is very forgiving. It's been around for a long time. Some people call it just cabbage soup. And there's about four or five different names. And when you search out at different sites on the internet, everybody has a different type of recipe. <laughs> I didn't find, uh, there may be one or two that are exactly the same, but, um, you know, I want to put in everything that I can put in that is nutritious and it fills you up. That's the beauty part of this. It takes about, oh, I'd say 40 to 45 minutes to get this cooked thoroughly. And so I put it on high to get it started, which I'd already started it a little bit before I started the video. And then I turned it down to uh, the medium on my stove. There we go. So everything is in there. And I'm telling you, my kitchen's smelling very good. I wish you were here where you could actually see this. And definitely, you could taste this. I am going to put a lid on it and let it cook for... Actually, I'm going to set a timer for 40 minutes. It's not that long to take, but the beauty part of this if you want to put meat in it, you can, but that takes away from the soup. 
I'm wanting it because I'm wanting to lose a few inches. I'm going to test it out. Is this going to help me lose a little weight? I don't know. That's Some people call this a diet cabbage soup. Uh, I don't like to use the word diet, but whatever works for whoever uh, that turns a lot of people off. I'd rather just say this is a nutritious cabbage soup or a comfort cabbage soup. That might be the better term that I would use, is this is a comfort cabbage soup. It's something that'll fill you up. If you want to eat it with a big old hunk of cornbread, you can do that. I may fry a little cornbread uh, for my supper. I know this is supper for me, and I'm very uh, excited to do this recipe. I've done cabbage cooked cabbage. I made cabbage soup before, but I really like this. It's so colorful and beautiful, and that's what I, what I really like. I find in my uh, older age that I really enjoy uh, eating something that is colorful, and I know it's got to be good for me, but I hope you enjoy this video on making the cabbage soup and I hope you will uh, make this. I will come back in about 40 minutes. I'm not going to leave you hanging on to watch that cook and I want to taste it just to see what the taste is like. And you do make this to your taste. If I need to add another bullion cube or two to get the flavor that I'm looking for, I will do that too. But I'm trying to keep it as low sodium uh, as I possibly can. 40 minutes cook time was just perfect for this stew. Now I need to taste it to make sure that it does have all the flavors that I'm looking for. And it's very colorful. Well, eh, I guess that's good. I got some of everything. That's about a cup of soup because this bowl holds a lot. So let me test that to see how good it is. Get it cooled down just a little bit. Yummy. Let's <laughs> see what it tastes like. Well, you know what? I don't like the taste of celery that much unless it's got uh, beef broth in it. <laughs> I like it in soups, but not just to eat. You know, that's just perfectly seasoned to my taste. Mm. I'm going to enjoy this. It is going to be a new comfort food. I thank you for watching today. And I pray that you... Have a good rest of the day. May God bless you and may His face shine upon you this day. And I hope you come back to see us.